hello everyone welcome to the mercury virtual hope you are doing good today i am going to continue with your chapter number 7 that is linking today is the last class for chapter number 7 and two or three topics are left that i covered in the today's class so today is the last class for chapter number 7 and in tomorrow's class that is uh, monday's class we will start with the new chapter that is chapter number 8 so Let's start with the today's topic. Today's topic is dynamic linking with shared libraries. This is what we have covered in the last class that is ELF that is executable linking and loading or linking format or linker format. So let's take a quick review what we have covered in the last class and then take a new session a new topic that is dynamic linking with the shared library. So let's take a quick review of the previous class. In the last class we have started with the ELF that is executable and linkable format. Uh, we have discussed about the executing file that is how to execute a file and how to link a file that is executable and linkable format. Then these are the outlines that is covered in the last class that is these are the topics that is covered. One is ELF that is a basic or what is ELF then basics of ELF then executables. Executable means what is executable and then we have talked about the li different linking views or different views of the ELF that is linking view and the execution view. Next uh, example then loading and executing an ELF executable that is how to load and how to execute the ELF executables then various examples and then at last conclusions. So this is the topics which what we have covered in the last class. Now let's see what we have covered. First of all, what is ELFE? Uh, ELF that is stands for or that is used for executable and linking format. That is standard uh, or it is a standard executable file format used by the or used by the or used in most Unix systems. So it is a standardized method, standard executable file format that is used in most Unix systems. Then uh, it substitute the or it is used as a replacement of the traditional a dot out due to the efficiency issues. Then uh, we have discussed that it is originally developed by or it is basically developed by the USL that is Unix system laboratory and adopted by the TIS committee that is a tool interface standard committee. Then we have discussed about the ELF file that are the types of ELF that is there are three types one is relocatable that have a out uh, extension that is dot o then executable that have a extension dot exe or dot out then next is your shared object file that have extension dot sh or s out that is your shared object files then uh, we have discussed about the object file that is what is object file uh, uh, suppose if i am using if i am compiling the c program suppose my program is written in the c language in a high level language so a process or a tool or a system tool is available to compile or to uh, convert the high level language that is our C program into the computer language that is a binary representation. So that converts the computer program or the C program into an object file. We say that uh, it is an object file that is created by the compiler. So object file means a binary representation of the program that is whenever we represent the program into the binary format that is zeros and ones format that is known as the binary representation of program that is intended to execute directly on a process processor that is uh, used or intended to execute or used directly on a processor directly on a processor means uh, means a processor or the CPU directly executes a command without knowing or without uh, doing any operation that is directly executing on a processor that is your object file then next uh, we have discussed about the static and the dynamic executable that is what are the types of executables that is the static executable and dynamic executable Uh, static executable is self-contained that is two large files due to the static inclusion of the library code that is your static file then uh, we will discuss about the dynamic that is you are using the external code or data at runtime. time that is using the external code and the data or the external code or the data at the runtime. time that is at the compile time 
uh, it is used at the static level that is static executable and at the runtime that is when the program is running that is uh, done by the or that is used as the dynamic that is using the external code or data at runtime it is more convenient by which shows the comparison that is dynamic uh, executable is more convenient to use than the static executables now this the uh, there are two views of the executables according to their participation according to their, their participation means how they participate in the executable file that is there are two views that is linking view and the execution view now what is linking view that is executable participation that is uh, when we participate or whenever any object file participate in the program linking that is known as a linking view and execution view means uh, program when the executable ex uh, participate in the program execution that is your execution view then uh, we also discussed or the comparison between the executable and the uh, the linking view and the execution view that is a comparison there is a elf header program header table that is optional that is not a mandatory that it is required then section 1 section 2 and t section uh, n and in ex execution there is a different uh, segments that is segment 1 segment 2 till segment n then there is a uh, section header table and in uh, execution view there is a section header table that is optional these are the two views or the linking view and the execution view this shows a comparison between the linking view and the execution view then we will discuss about the elf header that is well, what is elf header how we are using the elf header that is the program header table section header table then we will discuss about detail that is what is linking view that is dividing the object file or dividing the any object file into multiple sections is known as the linking view and the section contains multiple parts like name type requested memory location permission so these are the uh, parts of the section that is required each section contains a single type of information and contains a flag that is a uh, flag means writable data memory size or memory space during the execution executable machine instructions then uh, these are the important section that is whenever dividing the program or the object file into different sections uh, that is a linking view and this section includes various parts like dot interrupt dot text dot data dot bss dot init dot finny dot ptl dot re dot dynamic then we are discuss about the execution view that is dividing the object file into multiple segments that is the execution view and the segment contains the type requested memory location permission size that is a um, segment or that contains the or these are the fields that is available in the segment Then uh, we will discuss also discuss about the segment types. That is, what are the types of segment that is used? That is load, interrupt, and the dynamic. Then uh, these are the examples that is used. That is relocatable file one, relocatable file two. So these are the two examples that is used. Yeah, this is the most important that we have discussed. This is the diagrammatical representation. That is how relocatable object file is used. First of all, there is a system code then there is a system data then there is a main function then there is a function or the function definition and these are the different variables different section that is used uh, that is contained in the elf that is dot text dot data dot bss so these are the different variable that is used and these data or uh, this contains the uninit in, uh, initialized data that is the initialized data and bss contains the uninitialized data then loading and executing an executable executable or elf executable that is how to load and how to execute execute an elf executable these are the multiple steps that we have discussed that how to execute and load and then uh, perform the executable uh, these are the diagrammatical representation that we have discussed there are multiple relocatable file that is file 1 file 2 file 3 zip file and then there is a static linking that is a, there is a linking that is a link the relocatable object file by using the static linking 
that is converted into the executable object file. Then using executable object file and the share library and uh, that is converted into going into the dynamic linker and then executes the code that is your executing. Then these are the various uh, figures, various options that we have used or that we have studied in the last class that is PIC, position independence code. Then uh, GOAT that is using a, or uses a global offset table that is your GOAT. Then using the PLT that is your procedure linkage table for the procedure library calling. Then these are the others that is used that is relocation that is dynamic debugging structures. These are the various topics that we have, we have covered in the last class. Then at last we have concluded all the things that we have covered in the last class that is logical evaluation of old executable formats that is convenient double view a depending for the linking and executable or executing time then great support for dynamic linking we have covered then convenient separation between the file types depending on the function then standard and defined functionality for nowadays executable these are the topics that we have covered in the last class. Now let's start with the new session that is a today's session that is dynamic linking with shared libraries. So this dynamic linking with shared libraries. This is the static libraries as we have studied in 6.2 that is the libraries that is constant that is not uh, movement or there, there is no movement that is a static libraries that we have discussed in the section number 6.2. So this is the static libraries uh, contains the address and uh, it issues or it resolves many issues that is associated with making the large collection of related functions available to the application programs. That is uh, we have studied that how static library will be used to uh, use with the application programs. However, static libraries still have some significant disadvantages studied that there are some disadvantages that is used or that is available with the static libraries. Uh, static libraries like all software need to be maintained and updated periodically. That is it need to be maintained and uh, updated periodically on a regular basis. If application programmers want to use the most recent version of a library, they must somehow become aware that the library has managed and then explicitly link their program against the updated library. This says uh, whenever we use static linking or the static library, so there is uh, some limitation, there are some drawbacks, there are some loopholes. So there is a requirement for the dynamic library that is used at the runtime, that is the dynamic libraries. So that issue is resolved by whenever we use the dynamic linking, that is the dynamic linking is used with the shared library. Another issue is that almost every C program uses standard input output functions such as printf, scanf. As I told you, printf is used for the printing the document or printing the line and scanf is used for uh, dividing or for um, uh, writing the data into the memory that is done by the scanf. At runtime, the code for these instructions or code for these functions is duplicated in the X segment of each running process. So at the runtime, these functions are used for the running programs. This can be significant waste of the scarce resources. So this says there is a wastage of the scarce resources whenever we use the static linking or the uh, shared libraries or the shared uh, libraries in the static way. Now, shared libraries are modern innovation that addresses the you know, disadvantages of the static library. So a new technology is developed, a new invention is followed that is known as the shared libraries that overcomes all the limitations, all the disadvantages of the shared library. A shared library is an object module that at runtime can be loaded at the arbitrary arbitrary memory address and link with the program in the memory. So this is the most important line. What is a shared library? That is available at the runtime and that is loaded into the memory address and linked with the program in the memory. That is a uh, uh, shared library. This process is known as a dynamic linking. Why it is known as a dynamic linking? because it is uh, done at the runtime 
and it is located at the memory address and link with the program. That's why this process is known as the dynamic linking and is performed by a program uh, or performed by a well-known program that is known as a dynamic link. So this is known as dynamic linking with the shared library that is available at the runtime that is located at the arbitrary memory address and link with the program. Shared libraries are also referenced or referred as a shared object and on Unix system it is denoted by the dot so <coughs> sorry dot so suffix that is shared file have extension dot so Microsoft operating system makes heavy use of the shared library which may refer to a DLL that is dynamic link library so this is known as the dynamic linking linking with the shared library. This is the example, dynamic linking is done. Again, same, uh, there are two functions, that is a main.c, that is a vector.h. So these two functions are used, that is main2.c, that is a vector.h. And there is a translator that is used. Then next, there is a main function that is converted or translator converts that includes the pre-processing, compilation, assembly that is converted into next part that is main 2.0 that is converted into the object file. Then relocatable object file that is a linking, that is a linking LD. Then library C.so, library vector.so that is relocation and symbol table information that is converted into the linking that is LD. Then uh, after linking, it is going to the P2, that is partially linked executable object file. This is relocatable object file, then partially linked executable object file, that is known as the P2. Then again going to the loader, that is exe, that is executable file. Then library c.so, library vector.so, that is code and the data, and then it is a fully linked executable in memory, that is your dynamic link that is LD Linux dot so. so these are the steps that is used how the, it is available or how it is dynamically available at the runtime that is a dynamic linking with the shared library so first of all there is a translator that is main to uh, main two dot h vector dot h the two files are used then that is converted by using the translators then converted into the relocatable object file then converted into the partially linked executable object file, then uh, converted into the fully linked ex executable file in the memory. This, this is the most important part. The dynamic linker then finishes the linking task by performing the following relocation. These are the following relocation that is used. First of all, relocating the text and the data of the library c.so into some memory segment that is relocating the text and the data of the library c.so then relocating the text and the data of the library or uh, the uh, library vector.so that is lib vector.so into another memory segment then relocating uh, any reference in p2 to symbols defined by the library.so and library vector.so so first of all relocating into the or relocating the data of the library.so then second point says relo uh, relocating the data of library vector dot so. Then third point or the third category says uh, using the reference or converting it to the reference that is defined by both the um, source file, both the shared object file that is library C and the library vector. Finally, the dynamic linker passes on control to the application. From this point, the location of the shared libraries are fixed and do not change during the execution of the program. This is library SO, code data, dynamic linking. So dynamic linking is done at this point. This is how dynamic linking is performed with the shared library. Now let's see with the help of PPTs. Chapter number 7 continued. That is a uh, linking continued. that is the linkers and the libraries this is the agenda that is what is into uh, introduction 
then uh, static linking libraries, dynamic linking, ELF, dynamic linking libraries, Windows platform approach. Now, first of all, what is a library? As I told you, that contains or that uh, that is a collection of the sub programs that is used to develop the software. So library is a collection of sub programs. Sub programs means uh, chunks of the program that is a sub programs used to develop the software. So it is a collection of sub programs that is used to develop any software, develop any system that allows the code and data to be reused, shared and changed in a modular fashion. So libraries or the any library allows the data to be or code and data to be reused that is again used, shared and changed in a modular fashion. That is a library. Then linking. A linker resolves the reference between the executable and the library. That is the data that is contained in the executable that resolves the data that is a linker that resolves the reference between the executable and the libraries. Then uh, what are the benefits of using the library? That is uh, why we are using the collection of or why we are using the sub program. That is uh, how or what is the benefit of using the libraries? So first point says, says software engineering perspective. That is the most important benefit is that uh, from the point of view of the uh, software engineering or the software engineer that is it increases the reusability of the common routine so means uh, we can use or we can again use that is uh, reusability means using the same code again and again so that is your most important perspective of using the library that is it increases the reusability that is we can use more than uh, one program at more than one time so that it increases or it saves the resources of the user that is it increases the reusability why because uh, programs or the sub programs or the function is defined in the library so any program can use at any time so it is uh, available for the reusability then it is easy to upgrade that is whenever we uh, use libraries in a program it is easy to upgrade whenever there is upgrade session for example if I'm using the uh, Windows 7 now Windows 8 comes nowadays so it is very easy to cope up the every program that is every program is fully efficiently used or the run in the Windows 8 if there is a library that is used in the program then uh, this is from the software engineering point of view Next is your system utilization, that is your system, how system utilize the timing, that is your system utilization perspective. Then this is the code segment can be sharing at the runtime, decreases the consume of memory and disk space. That is the code segment that is used can be shared at the runtime. That is the code that is used can be shared at the runtime. Runtime means at the um, execution time it is shared, that is uh, the how sharing is done that is done by the library so whenever we use the some predefined function that contained in the library so there is a sharing of the time at the runtime time or sharing of code at the runtime. time then the next one is your naming and the binding that is name binding how what is name binding that is the association of the values with the identifier that is Whenever we associate the values with the identifier that is known as the naming or the name binding. Then identifier bound to a value is set to reference that value. That is whenever we use the identifier that is bound to the value is set to the reference that value only. Then next point says reference resolving that is it is used for the reference resolving. Uh, that is retrieving the data by the reference. Reference means the memory address that is used. So retrieve the data from the uh, value or from the reference that is known as the reference resolving. Then note, what is the note? It is difficult to the reference resolving. Memory mapping is retrieving the memory address by another memory address. That is your note. So this is the name binding that is association of the values with the identifier. This is not important as per your course. Now this is the important that is what is the linkers? How linking can be done? That is uh, means um, linking is done on which place that is at on the module on the library routine and determine the addresses at the runtime. So linker contains the two parts that is module then 
find the library routines and determine the addresses at the runtime. Then next one says print shared library dependencies. That is how to print or how to use the shared library dependency. Uh, that is uh, which is a, a shared library that is dependent on one another. That is Unix platform. This is on the Unix platform. This LDD, Binbash, this is Linux, Gates, SO.1, OX, FFF, EOOO, that is 000. And this is the Unix code that is used. And that is how shared libraries is used on the Unix. This is the example. This is, as you see, library, library and curses .so five. That is, it contains or it is stored in the library function and it is stored in another folder that is library curses .so. Then, Next in one is your library, library dl dot so dot two. Then again, library, library c dot so dot six. Then next is your pla Windows platform. That is uh, shared library is also used on the Windows platform. So first point says it is used on the Unix platform. Then next point says it is used on the Windows platform. That is PE viewer or PE explorer. PE means portable executable. Then categories of library by linking time. That is at the runtime. Uh, uh, what are the categories of library? That is the uh, different parts of the libraries. That is at the link time. Uh, there are two types of libraries that is used. One is static linking library. One is dynamic linking library. So as I told you, there are two types of library at the runtime. One is static. One is dynamic. Chatting means uh, at the compile time when the uh, linking is done, when the library is used, that is known as the static linking. And when at the execution time, linking is used, library is used, that is known as the dynamic linking libraries. And li dynamic linking libraries contains two parts. One is runtime environment libraries. One is programming language libraries. So these are two parts that is used. One is runtime, one is programming language libraries. This is from source to the execution. That is, our source code is used that is converted into the execution part. This is the diagram that shows that how or uh, how compiler uses the code or how compiler uh, defines the code and convert it into the execution phase. That is from source to the execution. Uh, first of all, there is a source program. Source program means your source code that is written in C language. Then there is a preprocessor. Preprocessor means a processor uh, um, ac um, beyond the or uh, uh, prior to the processor. That is your preprocessing. That is prior to the CPU execution. Then there is a CPP GCC E used. That is used. Then there is a compiler. That is after the preprocessing, there is a compilation phase. Then uh, after compilation, there is assembly code. Then after the assembly code, uh, it is used by the assembler that is AS GCCC. Then there is an object program. That is uh, that is an object program that is done by the static linking that is used by the linker. And then at last executable is followed that is known as a uh, that is done by the loader that is known as a dynamic linking. So first of all, there is a source program, then preprocessing, then compilation, that is compiler, then assembler, then linker, then loader. So these are the categories. That is how source code is executing inside the program. Uh, we simply write the program. For example, if I'm writing the program in C language, I'm simply writing the program and executes the code. But uh, during the phase of writing the program and during the phase of uh, displaying the output, that is your execution part, there are so many steps, there are so many cycles, there are so many parts that is used or that is uh, shown with the help of diagram. We simply think that there is a program that is written that is executed. That's all. My task is finished. But no, there are some scenarios that is used internally that is from uh, writing the program for to the execution of the phase. That is from source to the execution. So first of all, there is a source program, then preprocessor, then compiler, then assembler then linker, then loader.
next one is your static linking libraries now comes in detail what is static linking and what is uh, how static linking libraries are used that is the code segment will be a copy to the each executable that is the code segment that is used uh, that is uh, will be copied to the each, each executable that is the code that is used will be copy or will be copied to the segment or the executable that is used then what are the pros and what are the cons means what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the uh, static linking libraries the advantages are it is very easy to use how it is easy to use means uh, there is no dependency problem after the compilation um, that is uh, what are the limitations the executable size will be larger that is the execution phase is very larger that is whenever we execute the program that contains a highly executable object file the next one is your uh, next limitation is your it requires relinking when library is changed suppose my library is changed so it requires a new linking or the relinking whenever a library changes dynamic linking next is your dynamic linking uh, that is dynamic linking libraries that allows multiple processes uh, to share the same code segment that is at the same time multiple processors or the multiple processes uh, shares the same, same code segment that share the same code that is uh, if there is one library that uses the same code that is known as the dynamic linking libraries that is at the runtime it's loaded into the memory what are the pros and what are the cons that is what are the benefits and what are the limitations benefits is that there is a greater flexibility means uh, we can move the data or there is a movement of the data that is a uh, dynamic linking so there is a greater flexibility then next is your possible support for the plugin that is there, there is a possible support or uh, highly support is available for the plugins that is there is a uh, in dynamic linking there is a plug and play feature that is simply plug and use the device then what are the cones that is what are the limitations of the dynamic linking libraries the slow application at the start time that is whenever uh, there is a starting phase that is uh, at the starting of the program it is a slow application that is it is not used at, at fast or it is not used as far that is a slow application then dependent on the libraries when execution that is it depend on the libraries when execution because it is available at the runtime so the whole program is dependent on these libraries when there is an execution phase the references can be resolved either at the runtime and the load time so these references are resolved or these references follow some approach when it is uh, or resolved or uh, um, uses or when it is used at the runtime and the load time then next is your unix platform that is uh, it is available at the unix platform as a dot so and in the win in windows platform it is used as a dot dll that is dynamic linking libraries now what are the locations of the what are the locations of the libraries it is available at the unix platform and it is available at the unix uh, windows platform then how to linking with the c runtime libraries that is how to link with the c dynamic or the c runtime library that is your next part uh, that is uh, how to link with the c program and how to use with the c program libraries this says uh, this contains two parts one is static linking and one is dynamic linking and at the static linking how c program is dynamic linking or how C program or is linked at the dynamic libraries this is used and then is your dynamic linking that is how dynamic linking is performed that is a GCC O hello D hello world dot C that is this shows the diagram or this shows example that how C program is used with the runtime libraries then uh, CRT libraries consume 515 and the 218 bytes that is this library or the dynamic library uses the this concept that is either 515 and 288 or 218 bytes
that is that is the uh, end of the introduction that is what is uh, 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 what we have covered is the only the introduction that is end of the introduction now let's see with the help of book next is your loading and linking shared libraries from the application as we have discussed how to use or share library that is loading and linking from the applications this is it is also possible for an application to request a dynamic linker to load and link the arbitrary shared libraries while the application is running without having to link in the applications again those libraries at the compile time that is it is used and it is used for the loading and the linking with the shared libraries from the applications also that is it is also possible for the application to request the dynamic linking to load and link This is hang up. Now, what is the benefit? That is how dynamic linking is very powerful technique. These are the some examples. So these are the some features of the dynamic linking. One is distributing the software. That is, it is also used for distributing the software. Or these are the examples of the real world that is used at the dynamic linking. First one says distributing the software that is dynamic linking is a powerful and the useful technique why it is useful because it distributes the software software distribution means uh, suppose I have a system I generate one client and one server that is one supercomputer that is I'm distributing the software among different clients this says development of uh, multiple or Microsoft Windows applications frequently used that is frequently used shared libraries to distribute the software update that is distributing the software then next one is your building the high performance web servers that is uh, another advantage is that it is used for the or dynamic linking is used to build the high performance web servers many web servers generate dynamic content such as personalized web pages account balances and banner ads Early web server generate dynamic content by using fork and execute or exe ve to create a child process and run a CGI program that is your common gateway interface. So this says uh, dynamic link is very powerful to build the high performance web server and distributing the software among the clients and the servers. This is the example of the C language. This is again the example that is used the LSM function uh, takes to handle a previously open shared file. This function is used to unload the shared library. This is used to return an error if there is any error. This is our C program that is used. Next is uh, next topic is your PIC that is position independent. Uh, so this is a uh, static linking library that is how to build this is the method how to build that is using the GCC hyphen C my static library dot C AR R my static library dot A my static library dot O then there is a usage what is the usage it is used at the uh, at the C runtime libraries so it is used or it is using in the C runtime libraries then uh, GNU binary utilities that is what is a GNU or what is a GNU binary utilities that is used so there are multiple utilities that is uh, how GNU will be used that is uh, at, at the string that is displays the all the printable characters that is displaying the uh, characters that is one of the utility that is available from the GNU then AR that is creating the static linking libraries that is AR then NM that is list the symbols from the object file then size that is list the section sizes and total sizes then read ELF then object dump so these are the multiple sections or these are the multiple utilities that is used in the GNU that is strings AR NM size read ELF object dump 
then next is your unix ayout format what is ayout that is your executable file that is how what is the format of the executable file first of all there is a ayout header so this is the format that is used then there is a text section then there is a data section then text relocation text or data relocation then there is a symbol table then there is a string table so these are the So this is the format that is used for the Unix a dot out. So a dot out header, text section, data section, text relocation, data relocation, symbol table and the string table. This is hardware MMU is used that is memory management unit is used. No relocation at the load time that is relocation is not available or not used at the run time that is no relocation at the run time. Then separate address space for code that is there is a separate address space for the code that is the i code and the d code that is a data code that is 64 kb of each in the later model of pdp 11 line so this is a model name that is used that is used as a separate address space then since a program could not change its own i space multiple copies of a simple program could share a single copy of a program code that is, it, it is used as a sharing at the runtime. This is the format that is used for the Unix. Then what is ELF? That is executable and linking format that we have discussed in the last class. What is ELF and what are the contents of ELF? What is the uh, nature of the ELF and what is the format of the ELF? This says to support cross complications, dynamic linking and other modern system feature that is used for the uh, support or that is used for the support that is used in the cross compilation and the dynamic linking features. ELF as an associated dynamic or debugging format known as the DWA-RF. Then uh, three slightly different flavors are used that is relocatable, executable and shared object. So these are the uh, uh, three format that is used, these are the three objects, these are the three flavors that is used. Then dual nature, that is what is the dual nature? A set of the logical sections described by a section table. That is a set of the logical function that is used. Then uh, uh, means uh, executable contains or uh, divided into two parts that is dynamic uh, linking view and the executable view. And linking view is dividing the object file into different uh, sections. And the linking view is to use to divide the uh, different uh, or the divide the object file into different segment that is segment 1, segment 2 and segment 3 n. This is a diagram that shows the format of the or views of the ELF that is data segment and the uh, sorry sections and the segments. First of all, there is a linkable section and there is an executable section. This is a linkable section that is optional, ignored, then ex executable segment that describes the segment. This is the ELF header, program header table, PLT, TXT, that is read only, dot data BSS, that is read write. It describes a segment, these are the multiple segments and this is the table that is also optional. And then ELF sections that we have discussed in the last class dot text dot data dot PSS dot init dot finite then symbol table these are the ELF sections that is used this is the uh, representation in the terms of the Unix file next dynamic linking this is a dynamic linking code that is a static shared library that is dynamic linking is used with the static layer uh, shared libraries then dynamic shared libraries then propose the problem when using the dynamic linking so these are the topics that is covered in the dynamic linking then shared code in the runtime that is sharing the code at the runtime at the execution time then next is your virtual addressing space that is how virtual address is used whenever there is a requirement uh, in uh, comparison to the, that is huge requirement after the physical memory that is a RAM so there is a virtual address space then next is your 
PIC that is your position independent or independence code. This is the next topic that we have discussed or that we will discuss. Not we have discussed. We will discuss. Then next is your format that is a file format that is used that is lib libc that is libc dot so dot six. This is a format that is used. Now next is your PIC that is your next topic. So first of all, let's take five to ten minutes break and then starting with the new topic that is PIC. So let's take five to ten minutes break. Now let's start with the next topic that is PIC, that is position independent code. This is a key purpose of shared library is to allow. That is why we are using the shared library to allow the multiple running processes. That is when uh, there are multiple program that is running at the same time to share the same library code in the memory. That is your uh, main uh, feature or the, that is the main purpose of the shared libraries to allow the multiple running uh, processes to share the same library code in the memory that saves the memory resource. So this is what we have studied why we are using the shared library for uh, saving the memory address. So whenever or how can multiple processes shared a, or shares a single copy of the memory that is or sh single copy of the program means what is the scenario or what is the output or what is the method that is how or how can multiple processes can use the single share memory one approach would be use priority that is use the priority or use the priority a dedicated chunk of the address that is a, a chunk of the address that is used to each shared library that is we are assigning a dedicated chunk we are assigning a unique chunk of the address to each shared library so that we can identify that multiple programs are running or multiple processes are running at the same time. Uh, with straightforward, this approach creates some serious problem. That is, this creates some uh, serious problem. Why? Because it uh, it is it would be used as an inefficient use of the address space because portion of the space will be allocated if the process did not use the library. That is, uh, portion some method will be used as a proportion to use as an inefficient use of the address space. Second, it would uh, it would be difficult to manage. So it is difficult to manage whenever there is a more than one process that is used at the same time, and whenever we assign some chunk of the memory address to the shared library. So uh, over time, given the method of libraries and versions of libraries, it would be difficult to keep the address space from fragmenting into lots of small unused but un usable whole. So this creates a lots of problem. It is difficult to manage whenever we use the same library or whenever we share the same memory function to the shared library. So a new better technology or the new technique or better approach that is used to compile the library code uh, so that it can be loaded and executed at, at, at any address without being modified by the linker. So next approach or the better approach is used uh, that is loaded and executed at any address without being modified such code is known as the PIC that is position independent code. That is a code or that is a better approach that is used to load and execute the address that is without being executed by the linker. Such code or the such code is known as the PIC that is position interface code. Use a direct GNU compilation system to generate the PIC code that is user directly uses the PIC code or the uh, user directly uses the GNU compilation system to generate the PIC code with the hyphen P F PIC option to the GCC that is uh, using the GCC using the hyphen F, F PIC option to use the PIC code on IA32 calls to the procedure in the same object module requires no treatment Next PIC data references that is how or what is the data reference that is used in a PIC to uh, a compiler generally or generate PIC reference to the global variable that is compiler generates the PIC reference to generate the or to uh, use in the global variable by exporting the following interesting fact no matter where we load an object module that is including the shared module the data segment is always located immediately after the code segment. Thus, the distance between any instruction in the code segment and any variable is a runtime constant independent of the absolute memory location and data segment. 
this is the problem that is there is a huge distance between the segment that is the code segment and the variable in the code segment to exploit this fact to um, enhance this uh, or to overcome this limitation the compiler creates a table that is known as the GOAT that is global offset table at the beginning of the data segment this creates or the GOAT contains an entry for each global data object that is referenced by the object module that is GOAT contains an ent entry or GOAT gives an entry or makes an entry for that global data object that is referenced by the object module that is for each module there is a unique entry so that we can identify easily which module will be used when and which module will be used next. At the load time, the dynamic linker relocates each entry in the code so that it contains the appropriate absolute address. Each object module that reference global data that has its own data or that has its own code that is global offset table. At runtime, each global variable is referenced indirectly to the GOAT using code of the form. This is the example. This is the L1 example. This is how uh, PIC references is, will be used in, with the global variables. First of all, there is a call L1 that is calling the L1 function. Then there is a POP that is EBX contains a current PC that is a program counter. Then add. Using the add operations that is add the or EBX points to the GOAT entry for the VAR that is for variable. Then uh, next uh, this is a VAR of. Then there is a move that is a reference object that is refers the object or move the object that is contained or move the object uh, through the GOAT that is global offset table. Then move the object that is EAX with the percentage EAX. Then PIC function calls. This says it would certainly be possible for the PIC code to use the same approach for resolving external procedure code. That is, uh, we are also using the function calls that is a PIC function call for using the approach or for using the same approach uh, for following or for resolving the procedure calls. The same example, call L1, POP1 EBX, that is EBX contains the current PC, then add one, PROC of EBX, that is EBX points to the GOAT entry for the PROC, then call ebx that is calling the function call indirect through the goat then uh, however this approach will require three additional instructions what are the three in instruction uh, additional instruction that is pop that is add that is call these are the three uh, uh, additional instruction that is used in the goat That is, instead ELF compilation system use an interesting technique known as the lazy binding. That is the late binding that defers the binding of the procedure address until the first time the procedure is called. So this is uh, lazy binding is used until the first time or until the time the procedure is used. That is known as the lazy binding. A lazy binding is implemented with a compact yet somewhat complex uh, interface between two structures that is the GOAT and the PLT. So it is used between the or it is implementing between two techniques that is the GOAT technique and the PLT technique. GOAT means global offset table and the PLT means procedure linkage table. So it lies between the two methods or lazy binding is used between the two methods or uh, interaction between the two data structure that is GOAT and the PLT. If an object module calls any function that are defined in shear library that it has its own goal and PLT. The GOAT is a part of the dot data section and PLT is a part of the dot text section. Th so these are the different uh, uh, categories of sections that is used in the ELF uh, that is used in the executable linking and loader or linking and formatting. That is the dot data section and dot text section. So GOAT is a part of the data section and PLT is a part of the text section. This says figure 17 shows the format of the GOAT. Now let's see what the figure 17. This is a GOAT function that is 0, 
address of the dynamic section, got one, identifying info for the linker, then got two, entry point in dynamic linker, got three, address of the push in PTL1 or PLT1, then got four, address of the push in PLT2. This is the global offset table for the executable P2. These are the multiple entries that is that this is the explanation of these that is got one contains some information that contains or that defines this module and got two contains the entry point information that is got one is used for identification and got two is used for the entry points in the dynamic linker. Each procedure that is defined in a shared object and called by the main two dot o gets an entry in the GOAT start, uh, starting with the entry GOAT3. This is an example how it is used that is PLT1 this shows the PLT on uh, that above example shows the GOAT and this shows the PLT that is PLT is an array of 16 byte entries the first entry that is PLT0 is a special entry that jump to the dynamic linker each call procedure has an entry in the PLT starting at the PLT1. In this figure, PLT1 correspond to the printf and PLT2 correspond to the add vector. So multiple PLTs are used. One is PLT1, one is PLT2. This is PLT0, PLT1, PLT2, PLT0, a 0 is used for the push, jump, padding, PLT1 is used for the printf, PLT2 is used for the addition, that is add the vector. These are the other PLT entries. These are the examples. Then uh, next topic is your tools for manipulating the object files. Now let's see with the help of PPTs. PIC. This says the text pages of the file need to be relocated and thus be shared among different processes. As I told you, with the help of shared library, we can share the pages, we can share the pages among different processes to save the memory. This creates a problem. So a new technology is used, new technique is used that is known as the PIC, that is position interface or independent code. ELP linker or ELP ELF linker supports PIC with a global offset table that is a GOAT. So ELF linker supports the PIC table with the GOAT initial library. GOAT contains a pointer to the or to all the static data reference in the program. As I told you, PIC makes a comparison or uh, lies between the GOAT and the PLT or the PIC. This is the position inter independent code example. This is the main function. This is the program that is called printf. This is the printf that is used for printing the values that is library C return. Then this is also a function that is main called printf. This is again the printf. This arrow shows the printf that is used in the PLT that is called the GOAT5. Next GOAT5. This is the explanation of the GOAT5. This is the GOAT function. Then there is a 5 ampersand printf, then GOAT5 is used for the printf, then there is a return value. This is a shared library that is used by a multiple processor to save the memory and this is a dynamic shared library that is uh, available at the dynamic level, that is the dynamic shared libraries. Then what is a global offset table as we have studied? Uh, this contains multiple uh, offset that is global 0, global 1, global 2. Global 0 is uh, 1 is used for identifying, global 2 is or got 2 is used for addition. So this is to be an interaction table and accessed when PIC call functions and operates on data variable. That is GOAT is used at interaction table. That is GOAT is used in table and accessed or and accessed or used as an or it is accessed when PIC call function that is PIC 
operates on the data variables. It always consumes, that is, GOAT always consumes no space in the executable and allocates memory when loading. So it, uh, um, or GOAT always consumes uh, some space or some memory in the executables and allocates the memory when the, or when the, there is a loading takes place. The values in GOAT will be evaluated at the runtime by the linker. That is a value that is available or that value that is used in the GOAT will be evaluated. That is the values of the GOAT will be evaluated at the runtime by the linker. That is evaluated by the runtime or at the runtime. That is the execution time, the values are evaluated and used by the linker. Then and this is a PLT. Now what is a PLT that is used for the procedures only? That is, it is used for procedure only. It is not used for the uh, entry. It is not for use for the global data. It is used for the uh, procedure linking. Then uh, it also supports or PLT supports the dynamic linking. Each ELF shared libraries or executables that uses shared library that has a PLT. Then next, uh, it means the PLT uh, adds a level of indirection for the function calls and analogous to that provided by the go to for the data. That is, it adds a level, it adds a new level for the function call. Function call means it adds an indirection level that is used by the function so that it is provided, so that it is provided by the go for the data. This is a PLT that is used. This is the dynamic linking library. This is the example for the PLT and the GOAT. This is the best example that is used. Then next is your a section. First of all, there is a section header. Then next is your 0, 1, 2. So these are the multiple array sizes that is used. That is 0, 1, 2 and so on. Then uh, next is your next approach. Uh, next slide says dynamic linking libraries that is what is the dynamic linking library and how dynamic linking libraries lies between these so first of all there is a build function that is used for building the or that is used for creating the memory or that is used for assigning the memory that is a build operation that that is used or that contains multiple parts like gcc that is fpic co my print my print dot c then gcc shared o library my print so my print dot c these are the multiple syntax that is used that is used for the dynamic linking libraries then uh, next is your gcc that is gnu compiler collection that is first of all there is a cpp that is a preprocessor macro this is the GCC collection that is used. There are multiple steps that is used. One is uh, used as a CPP, that is only CPP will be used. Then uh, CC1 that performs the, or CC, uh, or the CPP performs the preprocessing. Then uh, CC1 performs the semantic routines, or the it contains the semantic rules and regulation and translate into the assembly line. So CC1 is used for the translation purpose that is used for the semantic rules or semantic rules and regulation and translate into the assembly language. Then next is your AS that is used as the assembler to relocate the object file. Then there is a LD that is the linking. Then uh, next to view the command executed to run the stages of the compilation we use the GCC view that is used for uh, the, or uh, that is used for a uh, compilation part that is GCC V. Then uh, this is the same code that is used that is from the source to the execution that is starting at the source or starting from the source part that is uh, pre-processing then G, uh, CPP then GCC then compiler that is used for the compiler then assembler then linker, then loader. So these are the multiple stages that is used that starts from the source and ending with the execution. So that's all for today's session. Thank you so much everyone. 
Now, if you have any questions, then please text the questions and I will answer you. Uh, let's take a quick review of the book. Yeah, one topic is left. I'm so sorry. Uh, one topic that is left is tools for the manipulating the object file. That is, what are the tools that is available in the Unix system that helps you understand and manipulate the object file? Uh, as any, uh, every method have uh, some tools that is used for identifying, for manipulate. In the same way, for manipulating the object file, there are so many tools available to understand the or manipulate the object file. So these are the categories of the tools that is available for manipulating the object file. One is AR. AR is used to create the static libraries and insert, delete, links, list and extract the member. So AR is used for creating the libraries, for creating the static libraries and inserts the deletion, insertion, list and extract the member. Then next is your string that is another tool that is used for the manipulating the libraries object files that is known as the string that lists all the printable string contained in an object file. Then next is uh, next use is your strip. So the next tool that is used is your strip that is used for deleting the symbol table information from an object file. Then next is your nm that lists the symbol that is defined in the symbol table. So these are the multiple tools that is used for manipulating the object file. Next is your size that lists the names and the sizes of the sections in an object file. That is it lists the names and the sizes that is of the section that is used in an object file. Then read ELF that is used for reading purpose that is used for display the complete structure of the object file that is used for displaying the complete structure means the complete scenario or the complete method that is used for the object file including all the information that is needed by the ELF header that is the information that is So the information that is used for the ELF header that is uh, stored in the or that is one of the tool that is used in the read ELF that subs uh, subsumes or that uh, subsumes the functionality of the size and the NF. Then object dump that is the mother of all the binary tool that is the main tool that is used that is the mother of the all the tool that is used that is known as the object dump can display or that is used to display all of the information in an object file. It have an extension that is .txt section. So these are the multiple tools that is used like AR, string, strip, nm, size, readlf, object dump. Unix system also provides some another tool or LDD program for manipulating the shared libraries. Like LDD means List the shared libraries that an executable need at the runtime. That is your LDDs. So that is uh, that are the tools that is available. Next to your summary that we have you uh, covered in the, this chapter. That is linking can be performed at the compile time by the static linker and runtime uh, at load time and the runtime by the dynamic linker. So there are two types of linking that is compile time linking and the uh, runtime linking. We have discussed about the shared libraries, shared linkers. In this chapter, this is the summary, relocatable object files, two main tasks of the linkers, static linkers that contains the object files, multiple object files static linking files, loaders that maps the content of the executable files into the memory and run the program. Then shared libraries that are compiled and as position independent code. That is a shared library that is used as a PIC that can be loaded anywhere and shared at the runtime. Then these are the bibliographic notes that is used. This is used as a binary translation. Then we also studied about the EEL. These are the homework problems that you have to do in your at your own. This is also again the problem. This is the seventh problem. 
and these are again the problem that is uh, you have to do in the add your own these are the multiple uh, question that is used 15 question these are the solution to the practice problem that is only five problem because from six onward there are some uh, homework problem so these are the five solution to the five problem that is solution number five in the next class that is in the monday's class i am starting with the new uh, next chapter that is the chapter number eight exceptional control flow that is your ecf that contains only seven topics and the eight topics is summary so this is also again the small chapter so this is the next chapter that is used or that will be uh, starting the next class that is in the Monday's class that is ECF exceptional control flow so that's all for today's session now let's take a quick review what we have covered in the today's class and then if you have any doubt then please text the doubts Uh, I started with the chapter number 7 continued that is the today is the last class that is uh, linking then uh, linkers and the libraries are the main topic of today's class these are the topics that I have covered in the today's class that is introduction static linking libraries dynamic linking dynamic linking libraries ELF windows platform approach Then we also covered what is a library that is a collection of the sub program that is used to develop the software. Then what are the benefits of using the library that is what are the advantages or what are the pros that is used in uh, using the library. That is divided into two parts one is from the software engineering point of view one is from the software or the system utilization point of view. Then we also studied about the naming or the name binding that is what is the binding and what is the name binding that is used. Then we have studied about the linkers that is what is linkers and how it is used in the um, system programming. Then print shared library dependencies that is how to use the shared library dependencies. Then uh, we have covered about the Unix system and the Unix platform uh, systems. Then we also covered about the categories of library that is the category of libraries at the runtime that is static linking libraries and dynamic linking libraries. This is from the source to the destination that we have covered that is at the starting phase that is how our source code will be executed from the starting phase to the ending phase that is from source to the execution. Then uh, next is your static linking library that is what is the static linking library and how it will be used that is the static linking libraries. Then uh, th there are some pros and cons of the static linking libraries also that we will cover in the today's class. Uh, uh, then we have uh, covered about the dynamic linking libraries that is what is the dynamic linking and how it will be used and what are the pros and the cons of the dynamic linking libraries means what are the advantages and the disadvantages then how, how it will be used as the Unix platform and the Windows platform then a location of the libraries that is how uh, li uh, linked with the C programming or the runtime libraries then uh, we also covered about the static linking dynamic linking that introduction is ending then we have covered in detail that what is a static linking library that is used for the build that is used for the usage then GNU binary utilities that is what are the utilities that is available for the GNU that is a string that is AR, NM, size, readLF, ELF object down then we have studied about the Unix AO format this is the format for the AO file that is executable or the relocatable file then uh, we have studied about the ELF that is executable and the linking format. 
then we have studied about the structure of the elf that is the views that is the linking view and the executable view then elf section that is what are the section that is available for the elf that is those text data bss init finite these are the multiple sections that is used then we have studied about the dynamic linking that covers the static shared libraries dynamic shared libraries shared code virtual addressing scheme then PIC this is the explanation of the dynamic linking libraries then we have discussed about also about the PIC that is position independent code that is uh, when we are using more than one process to remove that conflict among different processes we use the PIC that is position independent code that is used or that makes a comparison or that supports the PLT that is position linking table and the goal this is the example of the PIC. Then we have discussed in detail about the GOAT that is global offset table and the PLT that is procedure linkage table. Then we will discuss about the dynamic linking library, what are the content that is used, then GCC that is GNU compiler collection and then at last from the source to the destination how it will go from various phases like preprocessor, compiler, assembler, linker and loader. So these are the topics that we have covered in the last class. Thank you so much everyone. Now, if I have any questions, that please text the questions. All right. Uh, means you want the explanation of the GOAT and the PLT. Just a minute. This is the GOAT that is used as an interaction table. Interaction table means that is used as a table. All right. First of all, there is a PIC. PIC means a position independent code. That uh, suppose if I'm using the program and if I'm using the code, that is more than one code is used by the different memory. So there is a duplication, as you agree. There is a duplication between the memory addresses. So PIC provides a linkage between two memory addresses. That is, it provides a unique address to the each memory that uses the GOAT and that uses the PLT. So first of all, there is a PIC that is used for making the comparison or that lies between the GOAT and the PLT. And why it lies between PLT and the GOAT? To remove the conflict between the different memory addresses. Right. Now, next is your GOAT that contains a pointer. Why it contains a pointer? Because it stores the address. If, if there is a unique address for each memory, so there is a pointer that is stored. This says GOAT contains a pointer to all the static ref data references in the program. So that conflict will be resolved because there is duplication among the different memory addresses. But whenever GOAT is used, so it acts as a pointer to the static pointer that acts as a reference or it is a unique address that is used. So that removes the efficiency or that removes the inefficiency among the various code that is used. Next is your PLT that is used for the procedure only that lies between or that is used for uh, sharing the table for using the symbol that is used in the symbol table. This is also a table that shows the different references that shows the different references that is used in the uh, simple table. This is PLT. So there are three terms. One is PIC that, uh, that uh, gives the comparison or that lies between the GOAT and the PLT. GOAT contains a unique address for each memory reference and the PLT contains a unique address for each symbol table reference. So PL, PIC lies between these two. So this is PIC, GOAT, PLT. So these are the three terms that is used. Now, is it clear to you? So, so, so the PIC is just like, um, like a pointer address. Hello. Hello. Hello, Makiri. Can you hear me?